in this lecture we will learn about functions okay so functions are code blocks that perform some specific task okay so they perform specific task for you and that task any task that you take so it involves okay some input that okay you provide some input to the task that okay what is the what are the parameters that it takes okay and then it produces some output okay so this is the functionality of any block you see okay any program any algorithm you see so it takes some input okay it works on it it processes it and then it produces output okay so this is done in c++ or c using what is known as functions so functions have the main functionality is it helps you write modular code okay so which means that it is a block of code which performs some work on given input and it produces output okay and so we will see so for example if you see let's say we want to find area of a rectangle okay or perimeter of a rectangle okay so for that if there is a person and you want him to calculate the area of rectangle so you will have to give him some input parameters and here for this example it will be length okay and the width these two parameters you have to give okay now in c++ as you know that for every variable you need to define its data type so let's say that we have int length and int width okay so these are the parameters that we pass you can pass any number of parameters okay so for example if you were trying to calculate area of circle okay so you just need to pass the radius of the circle as parameter as the input then you will get the output by finding pi r square okay if you find want to find the area of rectangle you need length and breadth of the rectangle if you want to find the volume of a cuboid then you need to know the length breadth and as well as the height okay so three parameters will be needed so your the number of input parameters might be different okay so this is one case now let's see what else can differ okay then what might happen is that the type of parameters also might be different okay so in our case so let's say that we want one example let's take where the type of parameters can also be different the input types so one thing can be let's say we are taking attendance okay so attendance if you are taking so the name will be a string type okay so the name of the student will be a string and then let's say we are also taking his age okay so it can be int or float age okay so these two are different parameters then is he present or not that can be a boolean variable okay so these three different parameters are there okay now what we said is that we also process that input and we need to find some output okay so how we find the output so we calculate okay so for let's say and whenever you have a function it will of course have a name which will tell what it does okay so something like that so find volume let's say i have a function and give it a name find volume okay and i pass parameters int length int breadth and int height okay so these are the three parameters that i pass and we have a function name find volume okay and in braces i give the function the parameters okay the parameter type data type of parameter and the name of the parameter then we find that okay the volume int volume is equal to 
length into breadth into height okay so this we calculate then what you need to do you need to return that okay so we use a specific keyword return and then in bracket we will say volume okay so this we return and return type is written so whatever the type of return is we will of course here we will return the result which is integer so we will say it's of int type which we write before the function name okay so this is the idea so let's now see one concrete example of code so we have one example in which we have finding the area of rectangle okay so we have integer type is the return get area is the name of the function in braces we write int length so length is of type int and width is also of type int okay then what happens we have one function for finding parameter so you can in when you are declaring okay so there is another thing which is declaration and another thing is definition okay so these are the two things so declaration i just declare the prototype of the function that what is the function name what are the parameter it takes and what is the return type definition we basically tell how the function is working we write the code for that okay so these three are the definitions of the function we have three functions get area get parameter another one is get grade okay so let's see what happens here in int main so we have length and breadth of the rectangle given then we call get area so now what happens you have a piece of code that does some work for you so if you have a person also who does some work so you have to call him to say that okay please do that work for me okay so how you do it in c++ you will say get area just call that function name write it here get area now you see from the declaration what are the parameter it needs it needs the length and the breadth okay so i give length and breadth my length my breadth to this function and i call this okay when you do this it will also after the function executed it will return some value okay which will be printed here so this is for get area so what is the benefit of writing function okay so let's see the main benefit of writing a function is that it helps us make the code okay less repeatable okay so we don't need to repeat the code just for different set of parameters okay so we can just change the parameters and we can have the same logic run for different type parameters that is one benefit okay so for example get area here will work for any rectangle okay so the rectangle can have length and breadth 4 comma 3 2 comma 1 35 comma 45 it will work for anything okay but if you don't write function then you have to write the piece of code whole piece of code in the function body repeatedly for different set of values so now we will see one such example where it becomes very cumbersome so let's try to run some code okay so we will first very simply we will look at some code okay so let's try to see some so I will put something here so we will see some code here and let's try to build it okay and now what we do we run the code so area of rectangle is 12 perimeter of rectangle is 14 okay so now let's try to see how it is happening we have get area here get perimeter and we call these two functions okay here get area my length my breadth we call like this and now let's try to see here get area is defined here okay it returns length into breadth okay and get perimeter is defined here so it returns twice into length plus breadth so now you can say that okay we are writing a function and it's just a one line code so it might what are we gaining okay 
So we can say this is a very small logic, but if your logic is big, then the code becomes quite big. So for example, let's take a code which helps us to find a grade of a person. Okay. So what happens here is, let's see. So we have a grade which is from 10 to 4. Okay. If someone gets from greater than 90 out of 100, someone gets greater than 90, he gets a grade of 10. Between 90 and 80, he gets grade 9. Between 70 and 80, a grade 8. Between 70 and 60, grade 7 and like this. So a lot of cases are there. Okay, so around 7 cases are there. And you see that if we have a lot of marks, like I have 7 marks here. So what happens then and let us store the grades of these for these marks in G1, G2, G3, G4, G5, G6 and G7. So now just to find the grade of the first person, you can see the code length. It is quite long, okay, a bit long. And the same logic we again apply here for marks 2. Again, we have to write the same code and we see that the code is almost same just the parameters are different okay m2 is different here that we are checking so if you see like this so we see that the code is becoming repeated and only few parameters are different so instead of here what i can do only marks is one parameter input parameter and grade is the output parameter so i can write a function get grade the input parameter is marks which is of type int it returns the grade which is of type int so what happens if marks is greater than 90 grade is 10 like this if you do so you have a code the function is here now what I need to do for these two marks I can just simply write let's see so I can remove these two code and now I can very simply write okay so get grade m1 okay so this code now will be so g1 is equal to this now again for g2 g2 is equal to get grade m2 and so this becomes for m2 and we can just copy this code we can call the same function okay so now it becomes so much simpler so instead of such a big code now we have just two lines of code and a function which will do the work for us okay now you can do c out okay so grade one is g1 and grade two is g2 okay so this will suffice okay and let's see so now if we just run this code so build so there are few warnings that we have not used these variables okay if you can see so we are not using quite a few variables okay and this control reaches non void so control reaches end of non void function so just let's see what is happening so let's try to see here so we are not returning the grade so that is the problem so we should return a grade return grade so now it will build fine okay at least that warning will not be there unused warning will be there and now there are zero errors so if we run this so now grade 1 is 4, grade 2 is 6. So we get by just calling two functions, we get the grade. Okay. So this was about functions and why it is necessary. So I hope you understand the importance of functions, how we declare the function, how we define the function and what are the input parameters, what is the body of the function and how we write the output. So thanks a lot.